What do you think of the comments by Green Party Senator Pauline O'Reilly who said that the hate speech bill is all about uh, restricting freedom for the common good and that, those comments were pretty controversial. They all went internationally viral because people were reacting to it. What, what's your reaction to that? I, I actually had to check it to make sure that she actually did say that because I was in disbelief that a politician um, would say such a thing. We're supposed to live in a democracy here. People fought for our freedom and to say such a thing is totally unacceptable. But it just goes to show how extreme and dangerous the thinking is, particularly um, the Green Party thinking and the hard left how dangerous that is in terms of restricting people's views, their ideas, uh, which all are part of a healthy democracy, indeed a democracy of any country. And I, I just think that uh, certainly um, it undermines democracy, it undermines uh, the doll, it undermines others in there who are trying to do their best and trying to ensure that everybody has a voice. Um, but it does, it is very, very concerning and I, I, would, um, I would hope that uh, some common sense would prevail here in this whole, you know, debacle. But I do feel that she should be called on to resign. Um, that's not appropriate, it's not acceptable in any democracy. So um, Senator Pauline O'Reilly should resign. Minister for Justice Helen McEntee said that the majority of Irish people want the hate speech bill and they're supportive of it. In your own personal experience as a TD, have you received a lot, a lot of correspondence about this bill? I've received a massive uh, amount of correspondence on this issue. People are very, very concerned. I know from my own constituency of Leash Offaly, it's constantly been brought up with me in my offices. And, you know, the volume of emails that I personally received, um, you know, I, I think what's happening is government are trying to put a different slant on what's happening. And they're trying to mask reality and the truth. But the truth and the fact of the matter is that Irish people are very concerned. The majority of people are very, very concerned over this hate speech bill. And I do know that also from speaking to other TDs across the political spectrum. So I, I don't know where uh, the Justice Minister is getting her facts from or indeed her emails from, but certainly across the political spectrum, TDs and senators will tell you that people are very concerned about the hate speech law. It's very extreme and it, it, again, it suppresses democracy. Anything that suppresses democracy and stops people from having an alternative view is not good and it's certainly not healthy. It's, you know, look at, is there any difference between that and communism? I don't believe there is. I believe it's very concerning. And I believe for any responsible politician to support such a measure, or indeed the other parties. Indeed, in the opposition, we were badly let down when the biggest opposition party, Sinn Féin, supported the hate speech bill. So therefore, there's only a handful of TDs standing up and recognising that this is dangerous and that this needs to stop. And certainly, you know, from, from a nationalist or a Republican point of view, you know, everybody has freedom of, of speech or should have freedom of speech. And certainly to suppress that is, is nothing short of dangerous and oppressive.